Hello everybody, I'm John Benson and yes I still have my lovely COVID hair <laughs> which I'm having a lot of fun with. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit, I have some comments and thoughts to share about um, Arrival. It's a movie on Hulu. Uh, it's based on a book by Ted Chang, I believe. Um, C-H-I-A-N-G. Um, the, the book was called Story of Your Life. Uh, I like that title. Oh, it's a good title. Arrival was also a really good title because arrival of what? Um, there's two obvious major things in this movie that arrive. Um, one being aliens and the other being the stars, uh, Amy Adams, her, her, her child. Or whatever, her, her child with Jeremy Renner's character, whatever. The two of them have a child in it. Um, I am, I, I, I'm doing this as a review. I, I don't plan on having any major spoilers here, um, but I suppose there's always the chance. I mean, I said there's aliens in it and a child, but I think that you will get that from the movie immediately. Um, and so I'm, I'm just going to go ahead. It, I, I was very impressed by this movie because they do it in the, in the theme, the category of science fiction movie. There are aliens in it. <laughs> and I think that's hilarious because um, the movie really isn't about aliens at all. It's about communication, language, relationships, uh, it regrets, and, uh, and, you know, the question, uh, this big question or discussion comes up about if you knew the future, if you knew what was going to happen to you, or in this case, you know, uh, Amy Adams' character, you know, she knows what's going to happen to her daughter, do you still have the daughter? And um, even though if you know there's, there's heartache involved or, or whatever else, like, again, this just gets to regrets and the idea of, you know, you know, knowing what you know, would you do it again? And, and Amy, Amy Adams' character is certainly on board with yes. Jeremy Renner's character has more difficulty with that. Uh, they don't get into a lot of that in the movie. It's just uh, basically just allowing that, you know, both uh, decisions are, you know, happen for people. Uh, there are people that would do everything over again, no matter what the heartache, and there are some people that wouldn't. And it, it really reminded me of, of having a pet when you, uh, decide to uh, have a pet to adopt however else you you, uh, you end up with a dog or a cat or any pet I suppose other than a tortoise or a parrot um, you know that the pet's life is rather short and there's going to be some heartache involved and there's gonna be it's gonna be sad and uh, you know so what do you do and this a movie certainly, discusses about that or brings up that discussion, which is what I like. Um, it is a very thoughtful movie, but, and that's what I mean. There's this, there's kind of this funny contrast going on between it being a science fiction movie and, and it being a, a thoughtful movie with very pensive music. <laughs> the music score is very different from Star Wars or, or any other science fiction movie. This is not the typical science fiction movie. It's, it, it, the, it's only in that the, the aliens are only really there as a way, as a vehicle to move the story and these discussions. It is a very literary movie. Uh, and so, you know, that's why I'm talking about it, I suppose. Or, or after I saw it, I was like, oh, this is definitely going to be something I can... I can discuss it because the movie does. The movie's making these discussions. It says it right from the beginning. Um, and the music <laughs> certainly lets you know that it's not uh, it's not your typical st you know, uh, science fiction movie anyway. And I really liked what it said 
about um, communication and language. And there is a quote um, that the language is the glue that holds civilization together, which is typical. That's what you would hear. That's what you hear all the time, or you would hear in some class. And Amy Adams' character is a professor, and so you're supposed to be a linguistics professor, but whatever. Um, so, the, okay, but that is very ho-hum and not good writing. It's, it's typical, typical, boring writing. But then it says, and the first weapon drawn in a conflict. That is interesting. That, that, that's some interesting writing and an interesting way of looking at language, at least to me it's interesting because I had never thought of language that way before. Uh, to think of language as a weapon and the first weapon drawn in a conflict and it, that's a, an interesting proposition and one that I thought about and was like, oh, well, I suppose I can see that. I can see that in disputes, there's going to be communication and language used before you get, before, you know, things can build up and build up before you're in a conflict or, or, or war or whatever else. And this movie goes on to kind of... Uh, show that progression and how language is used, including how language is used as a weapon and also how language is used to diffuse that weapon. So that's interesting writing. That, that, that's very fun for me. Um, there, there were some other notable comments said. There was a notable comment, right, you know, the first words about where does the story begin? Okay, that's kind of an interesting idea, but but this uh, so this movie has this kind of uh, nonlinear quality to it, and I, it reminded me a lot of uh, Pulp Fiction or uh, those movies, and when Pulp Fiction and uh, came out and uh, Terrence. Tarantino it made that nonlinear story so popular and it became a fad for a little while and it was it was kind of done over and over in, in ways and other than Tarantino movies you know done in ways where it didn't make the the story didn't need it it wasn't really part of it wasn't furthering anything it didn't didn't matter and it it kind of detracts from the movie, really, if that's all you're doing it for is flavor. Um, and then this movie uses nonlinear storytelling in a very, in the right way, because it, first of all, it tells you it's nonlinear, then it, then it goes on to use that nonlinear uh, format to move the story, the, the plot and the story and the conclusion together. They, they, it is moved because of that um, that tool. So great, you know it. That's when writing is good, uh, and you're doing that. This movie did have some very cheesy lines. This movie um, isn't for everybody. It, there's it, there's tension, there's drama in it. It, but it isn't that type of movie. It's more of a movie to think about and discuss. Um, so, so, like I said, there's also discussions about relationship um, and oh, these uh, notions of, you know, what do we remember? Re what do we remember? What, what are our memories? How do we remember? When do we remember things? How our memory becomes bits and pieces through things. Another really interesting comment they made was on um, time and communication, this, this non-linear facet of this story and it's saying that communication goes through time. It's not really that far-fetched, really, if you think about it, because when somebody writes a book, 
that person, there, there will be a reader of that book or somebody could read that way in the future. And, and, and so it has, communication can do all of these odd things with time. So it, it kind of picks up on that in, in a fun way. And so there's that. Uh, the Oh, and there's another big point it makes about communication, which is being vulnerable. I guess being yourself, um, but not trying to act like somebody that you're not. And in, in the, the movie kind of really hits it hard with Amy Adams' character taking off her, her protective suit at one point to be able to communicate with the aliens. See, you have to take off. Take off your armor, take off the, these um, costumes or, or whatever it is and, and try to be there and vulnerable. And in communication, there's another interesting point it makes about uh, communication being a trade-off and it's not uh, something where somebody loses, it's, it's an even trade. They don't say it like that in the movie. They call it a non-zero game, but I think that's what they meant. Or maybe not, you know, so if the, if the other people can have other opinions about it. Great. You know, um, I, I like movies that that spur opinions and discussion and, and things like that. And, and this movie certainly does. Um, it's very literary. Um, the acting was very good. I was almost surprised to see that Amy Adams was the lead in this because it didn't even occur to me throughout the movie. I, she's she's uh, just acting. I, I just see her character completely. Jeremy Renner, I mean, he's good. He's a good actor. He, he was very good at being soft and letting Amy Adams' character do the heavy lifting, which is... This movie is really all about her. Forrest Whitaker is in it. I always think of Forrest Whitaker as a great actor and he does a, a wonderful job in this movie. Again, kind of being understated and not overacting. Um, so, and and the, the other one point I wanted to make is that it also is kind of uh, amazing how few people speak in this movie. This movie about communication, it is so much about her and her head and you feel like you're in her head all the time. They do some fun things, you know, getting you that feeling like when they put the headphones on and then you are, you, the, the sound goes down for us to the audience. So we, we are there with her and uh, there, there are so few speaking actors or lines in this there's like six that I can think of and the, so about a, a movie about communication has that view and I think that's wonderful and oh and so yeah in a way it kind of takes on this dream like you kind of think she's dreaming or she could be dreaming or it could be this who knows lots of different things going on in this movie in this headspace which is where this movie is. It's in a headspace. It's it's not science fiction, even though they're aliens and things. So, uh, feel free to uh, take a look at this movie. It's on Hulu. I certainly recommend it for anybody who, who wants to think and discuss these types of things. Feel free to, to leave a comment or anything about this movie or whatever else or about anything below. Uh, hope everybody's doing great. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye.